Hey, man, you know who it is, man. I hope y'all does, man. Look, man, feel me? We back in the game with another video for me. A new scrap, I'll fuck with you. Old scrap, I'll fuck with you for me. Like the video for me, watch it all the way through. You gonna learn something for me. That's a fact. Fuck is you talking about for me? Understand that shit. Fuck is you talking about for me? That's a fact. Fuck is you talking Let me stop playing. <laughs> My voice started getting on high pitch and shit out this bitch whole time. But look, today we're gonna talk about the three top rituals done in the music industry, my nigga. Whole time. Shit is wild, fool. Shit is crazy, my nigga. It's crazy. It's crazy. But look, shit's really crazy. Demonic, scary, nigga. Illuminati, satanic, and Freemasonry. Feel me? Understand? This shit's crazy, bro. So understand this shit. So, my nigga, off the rip, the first ritual, one of the top three rituals that are done in the music industry, my nigga, is, or you know what I mean? Even in the industry, well, mm, yeah. Actually, every industry, but I'm going to just say the music industry. Fuck you talking about. But look, you know what I'm saying? The top one is the motherfucking... It's a sacrifice ritual, my nigga. You got to sacrifice somebody, bro. Y'all niggas in here thinking it's all a game. It's all love on some dirt shit. No, boy. Let's get it. La dirt. You the first one, boy. Nigga sacrifice King Vaughn. Nigga sacrifice Nunu. Nigga sacrifice all them niggas, boy. You think this shit is a game? No, boy. Motherfuckers in the industry, bro, they really kill motherfuckers, bro. Whole time or get them killed, boy. They don't really beat them. I mean, sometimes they beat them really blicking at a motherfucker or a stab, you feel me? But half of the time, they get somebody to get them gone, nigga. On some motherfucker 6 9 the cheap key type shit. Try to pay somebody to, you know what I mean, put money on a nigga head and shit. Fuck you talking about, for me? So understand this shit, bro. The industry is crazy, bro. You thinking here, like, all these rappers and people in the industry are just like you. No, boy. Yeah, they just like you. They regular motherfuckers. But boy, these niggas do wild ass shit that you wouldn't even believe to be done. And mind you, to their own people, bro. For example, little baby, he sacrificed Lil Marlo, bro. You feel me? My nigga, it's nigga, it's so many case by case basis, bro, of people dying around people, bro. It's not oh nigga, the nigga, the baby's nigga, he nigga, come on, bro. Come on. We know his story. Oh, your dad magically dies and then your album numberly goes number one. No, boy. Your ass sacrifices ass to get to higher rankers in the motherfucking industry. Understand this shit. It's done, bro. A lot of people do this shit. Kanye West, motherfuckers. Bro, mad niggas sacrifice niggas, bro, to get to higher rankers in the industry. But understand this shit, bro. Once you sacrifice a motherfucker, my nigga, you got to understand, bro. <laughs> you're gonna have to keep doing it over and over and over. But you know what I'm saying? You don't have to do it in like years. I mean, not, not the next day or next week or no shit like that. For me, no. But you're gonna have to do it within a couple years. You feel me? Because, nigga, you gotta keep showing your allegiance to these niggas. Because they might think, oh, nah, this nigga doesn't not fuck with us no more. Nigga, you still fuck with us? Then you be like, yeah, man, I still love getting this money and still being a little vibrational ass bot and all this goofy ass shit. So they be like, you know what? Ah, uh, you killed your mom already? Go kill your auntie, you feel me? And it be shit like that. Megan the Stallion. My nigga, understand this shit, bro. Y'all just be thinking all this shit is all love, bro. No, bro. These niggas really be killing each other, bro. Killing people, their own friends and family, bro. Because niggas, all they want is the clout, the money, the fame, bro. Until they realize and understand that at the end of the day, you're going to die off this bitch. And all that money and clout and fame, my nigga, whole motherfucking time. My nigga, don't mean anything, bro. It doesn't mean nothing, bro. At the end of the day, it does not mean a dime. My nigga, understand that shit. Not even two nickels. Fuck you, a dime, nigga. Fuck you talking about. But understand that shit. So my nigga, that's the one of the biggest rituals that's done in the music industry, right? Number two, another fucking ritual that's done in the music industry, my nigga, is the gay agenda, my nigga. The gay ritual. You know what I mean, like nigga, you doing some gay ass shit, or for females, you doing some lesbian ass shit. Like, bro, understand this shit, bro. My nigga, motherfuckers think, oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? None of these niggas in the industry is gay. None of these niggas be out here sucking niggas up and all type of wild shit. Niggas, bro, half of the niggas in the industry, bro, my nigga, you can even look up Fat Joe saying this shit in the interviews. A lot of niggas, bro, talking about the gay agenda in the hip-hop music industry, bro. A lot of these niggas, bro, are literally homosexuals, bro. Sexual homos, my nigga. Fuck you talking about. Niggas is gay as hell, boy. Not fear me. I ain't got nothing against y'all gay niggas and shit. Hold motherfucking time for me. Don't come bash me and shit. Fuck out of here, nigga. Don't even touch me. Fuck out of here. <laughs> but look, whole time, my nigga, they trying to, nigga, a lot of niggas in the industry, bro, had to do some gay ass shit to get in. AKA Lil Wayne. Even though he my favorite fucking rapper, nigga, my favorite rapper all fucking time. Because, nigga, nobody can rap like Lil Wayne. I don't give a fuck. But whole time, I had to separate the person from the music. My nigga, understand this shit. Because, nigga, he did that gay ass shit, kissing Birdman, all this weird ass shit. 
probably getting his back blown out, all type of wacky shit, feel me? Understand that shit. The nigga Drake too. Drake nigga, he gay too, nigga. You got to understand this shit, bro. A lot of the niggas in the industry is gay, nigga. Drake nigga. Tupac was a bisexual nigga. Whole motherfucking time. Motherfucking Eminem look gay ass. Whole motherfucking time. Nigga, it's mad motherfucking people, bro, that did this gay ass shit. That you wouldn't even think of your mind. You like, nah, how the fuck Drake do that gay shit? He get too many bitches to be doing. No, boy. They don't give a fuck, bro. You thinking these niggas is really straight, nigga. These niggas is really looking at other niggas, checking other niggas out, bro. Young thug head ass type niggas, bro. Motherfucking little Uzi Vert. Uzi shoulder ass niggas, bro. <laughs> the little Uzi shoulder. Dumb type niggas, bro. Them niggas were booty band. I'm a bandit, nigga. She's a nigga. He a booty bandit, nigga. Them niggas are fruity pebbles and fruit loops, nigga. Whole time, boy. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? These niggas is motherfucking. Feel me? Understand that shit. Gush your fucking head ass niggas and shit. Whole time. Motherfuckers is fruity as hell, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. On bro, trick cereal head ass niggas. But look, that's one of that's another ritual, bro. That's getting done in the industry, bro. A lot of these. Why you see that a lot of rappers do that weird ass shit. Because they with that gay shit, bro. But they're not going to tell you they with that gay shit. Because no why. You're going to look at them totally different. Or some Lil Nas X type shit. If he never came out as gay, motherfucker would have still been rocking with him. Ah, ah, ah. But since he came out as gay, now motherfuckers is like, oh, we not jacking it. Ah, ah. But my nigga, you got to understand, bro. Half of the niggas that you jacking, no homo shit. Fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? My New York lingo type shit. But half of the niggas that y'all swear is sanctioned. Bro, these niggas is out here homosexuals, bro. Beat her back out. Blow her tr No, blow his tracks out. Nigga, they be probably blow niggas tracks out. Be having niggas yanking on Young Thug dress and shit. Yo. <laughs> oh, fucking Tom. And you thinking it's all love. It's all a sanction. No, boy. These niggas are gay, bro. And half of these girls be doing lesbian ass shit. I mean, obviously, in society... Lesbian shit is more acceptable for guys, you know what I mean, and girls and shit like that. But even still, though, some of y'all girls ain't not with none of that goofy ass shit whole motherfucking time. So, you know what I'm saying? That's, I mean, going against y'all moral codes and shit like that whole motherfucking time. So, understand that shit, my nigga. So, that's two. That's, you got the motherfucking sacrifice ritual, and you got the gay ritual. You know what I'm saying? You got to do the gay shit, get fucked by niggas. Bro, that shit gay as fuck, man. You having an old white man blow his back out looking like Joe Biden trying to blow your back out. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. That's some wild shit. Mind you, you getting blown out by like 20 niggas. Having a whole Thomas Choo Choo train ran on your list shit. You a whole nigga. Fuck out of here. That is some wacky shit. Nigga, you get the fuck out of here. Feel me, gangster. But understand this shit. Niggas really be doing this shit, bro. So don't think, oh, nah, that's facade. No, boy. Niggas really be doing this shit. Have you seen how many niggas, bro, in the industry who got their back blown out and really is on that gay ass shit? Nigga, you be so fucking surprised in this bitch and motherfucking just don't even want to listen to rap music no more. Feel me? Understand that shit, gangster. But then the third motherfucking ritual. That's done in the music industry, my nigga. Is the embarrassment ritual, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? The humiliation ritual. Understand this shit. A lot of niggas, bro, in the industry, bro, if they didn't out with that, look, you have to do one of these, bro. You have to, bro, gangster. And there's other rituals too. It's not just this. You know what I mean? You got ones with kids, all type of shit, bro. So there's different rituals, but these are the main three. But if you're not gonna do the sacrifice ritual, you're not gonna kill nobody in your family. And they don't even expect you to be on that gay shit. You're not with none of that gay ass shit. Damn, my nigga. You gonna have to do the embarrassment ritual, aka Chris Brown to Rihanna type shit. Understand this shit, because my nigga, people think, oh yeah, Chris Brown beat her up, and no, boy, that was a fucking humiliation ritual, my nigga, embarrassment ritual type shit. Because when he did that shit, or supposedly did this shit, right, my nigga, that nigga Chris Brown got the fuck, he blew up, nigga, got big as hell, my fucking everybody know Chris Brown, even though it was for some bad shit, yeah, but who give a fuck about it now, bro? Nobody cares now. He Chris Brown, nigga. He Chris, nigga, who give a fuck? He still. Beat her back, you feel me? Understand this shit. So hold my fucking time. You thinking it's all love or sanction? No, boy. Nigga, everybody gotta go through some shit, boy. Them embarrassing rituals is real, boy. That was what happened with Taylor Swift with Kanye, man. When Kanye was like, oh, I think Beyonce has deserved this award and all this goofy ass shit. Yeah, boy. That's what that was, bro. Taylor Swift had to get publicly embarrassed because, nigga, the embarrassment has to be public. Everybody has to see it. It has to go fucking viral, bro. And that's be some wild shit. And everybody gonna look at you like, damn, boy, that shit happened to your go for that. You feel me? And that's what happens, boy. You have to go through that type of shit, bro. Like the baby wearing the fucking diaper to motherfucking South by Southwest or some shit. Shit like that, bro. You have to do wild shit, bro. Literally wild shit. Like, nigga, it's literally wild shit to get to where these niggas' position is, bro. Understand this shit, my nigga. So, look, if you don't do the sacrifices and you don't do the motherfucking gay shit, you're going to have to get publicly embarrassed, my nigga. And it could be some bad shit, some good shit, whatever the fuck. But whole time, nigga, it's some wild shit. And whole time, my nigga, you got to understand. You're going to have to keep doing this shit over and motherfucking over to maintain your position and your motherfucking rankings 
with these weird ass, satanic ass, eating kids ass, drinking baby blood, adrenal chrome head ass, motherfucking pedophile ass, touch your baby sister looking ass type niggas, bro. So understand this shit, dog. So you really want to be in the industry? You really want to be in the industry? Oh yeah, I'm dapping up Jay-Z, even though he a fucking puppet, nigga. Bro, you think they'll literally let a black man get all that money, bro? You 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 really believe that? You really nigga, you really think nigga they'll let somebody like that get up to you, bro, without having to do type of wild shit. No, nigga, are you dumb? Like, no, boy. So you gotta understand, bro. All the niggas you look up to are programmed. They're bots, nigga. Understand that shit. That's so why I tell y'all niggas don't look up to no motherfucking rappers, nigga. Because half the time, bro, they putting out this motherfucking fake ass image that's not even dumb whole time. Literally, did you know this nigga had to get his back blown out? All type of shit just to get them hundred racks and them fake ass chains he got on his neck, my nigga. So understand that shit. Made by Eliante and shit. Get the fuck out of here. That shit is some bullshit, some bogus ass shit. This is why I tell y'all, bro, stop looking up to people, bro. Look up to your motherfucking stuff. Gangster. But look, man, that's all I got to say for a video from Mr. Fat. I'm saying, like the video for me if you like the video for Mr. Fat. Subscribe enough if you ain't subscribed for me. Hit that notification button to get updated or upload a new video for Mr. Fat for you talking about for me. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on Instagram at LBRDAZ, LBRDZ for Mr. Fat for you talking about. It's in the description box in the conversation down below for Mr. Fat. Hit me up on there if you need, you know what I'm saying, advice. Leave me video ideas in my DM in the conversation below. Need this video for Mr. Fat. You know what I'm saying? If you watched it all the way through, I fucked you, man. It's a fact for me. Join the LBR gang, you know why? Because it's the gang way. Fuck you talking about for me. Look, I'm making a video right here on doing that shit. But until then, my nigga, you already know what I'm about to say, right? I'm out this bitch. Oh, bro.